Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Legend of Grimrock 2, shall we? Alright, it's time to go up above the world again, and not just to fish, but to get more of the keys unlocked to enter the center portion of the island, if that is indeed something we can do but that's going to involve me exploring further in many of the other regions that I've yet been either able to make progress in or just haven't gone yet so when we think about what we have so far We've got, all right, here, we have two power gems, right? And we've turned in some of the magical runes. These are, let me just put, like, some of these letters away that we've received into our little note bag. Uh, this is another scroll that details some important stuff. I'll just put this one in here. We have a good bit of lockpicks. Okay, so... That's a statue that tells me that. I don't think I've actually been able to go into this Sphinx yet, so that's a whole area that I have yet to explore. I have seriously not done much in this zone. Or been able to. So there's that. This is kind of down to where you start the game, and I feel pretty comfortable that I've acquired everything necessary there. This is the underground fun that we just had. Uh, Alright, so let's see, do I see a ladder out of the water? Yeah, but it's, it's a bit far. Uh, let's just go to this ladder over here, and if I see any fish, well, we'll pick them up immediately. Yep, pick it up. Give me that fish. Oh, God. Our oxygen. Go! We made it. Okay. So we've done some fishing, and here is the little pyramid. Hey, 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 fish. Come into the backpack. Oh, I got slowed down by all these fish. That's a good problem to have, though. How hungry is everybody? Here, eat that. Anybody else hungry? You are. I feel like the rat guy is always hungry. Like, Ibadar has got... just a serious amount of hunger, and that's fine. Alright, let's collect all of his items altogether. He has some arrows, and I don't know who exactly. Is there anybody that's seriously gathering arrows that I need to think about? You have crossbow quarrels, so let's give these here, and then you have a bow, so can you just... Yeah, there you go. I mean, let me uh, put these in here. Yeah, fantastic. And that's what I'm talking about. I should probably drop off, like, these embalmer's robes and stuff like that. I'm not really using that kind of armor right now. Let me save it. Alright, so here's Snake... Snake Temple. Uh-huh. You know, it's not like I've really done an extensive search of under the water, either. I see. Fantastic. I'll have to consult all of my notes and see exactly uh, what I might need to drop in that alcove to open that. And if we want to talk about all of our notes, well, they're going to be over here. Okay. 
So let me get into this and just see. Yeah, like this, we can drop that light armor. We can drop a torch. I'll drop the embalmer's pants. I don't really know why I'm carrying a pickaxe. So I'll just put that there for now. An extra torch. I'm going to put all of my herbs up top. So that I know easily when they've grown. Here, let's do this. Now a shovel is good to carry around. Yep, it just multiplied. Embalmer. Okay. Go ahead and put these up here. These are my potion recipes. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, Alright. So, let's take a look at some of these scrolls. Island map. Right. So, the Pyramid of Umas we've not really done. I think I feel comfortable with what we've done in the ruins of Desarun. This is how we got here. The Forgotten River, maybe, we need to explore. And the cemetery has been pretty much a no-go. Then he looked at the path leading to the burning hot desert he called home. Okay, so this is from the, uh, the Pilgrim of Zafi. And maybe this is telling me how to get into that pyramid because um, here we go alright so these are the, the Zafi things and that pyramid certainly looks like a desert so uh, let's see he began traveling toward the frozen tundras the sun was setting okay then he looked at the path leading to the burning hot desert he called home Finally, the Star of the North came to lead the way, and he continued walking along the path. Alright. So, let me look at the island map again. Frozen Tundra. Um. I mean, would that be the Forgotten River? Hmm. I'm not sure. You know, I haven't seen any frozen stuff. But, let's see. I could get over to... Down here, I did a good amount of work exploring. And I don't remember it being frozen at all. Let's see, this is locked. Oh, this is where the elemental altars are. Right, right, right. Where is... Let me see if I can find easy access to the hub. That's where I would need to go. Um, the hub is... Oh, here we go. North is Sleet Isle. West is... Twig Forest and south is Kilbreach Bog. That's what that sign says. So, Sleet Isle. Huh. You know, I haven't mapped any of this. And there's no ladder that appears to protrude from that side like the bridge is out right I would need would need some serious bridge work to make it over there danger yeah I don't know what that 
refers to. Um, there is a gate down here. Hmm. Question is, have I mapped this thoroughly enough to determine whether or not there is anything to do in this, like, maybe this is one of the last places you get, maybe this opens up once you have put the elemental keys down, but that doesn't seem to entirely make sense. Okay, I'm just going to go, I'm going to look at this really fast, and what I'm going to do is, yeah, you can even see there's an item there that I can't quite get. I'm going to check this gate mechanism, and if I can't do anything, I'm going to go back to the cemetery and kind of poke around there. Okay, so now the gate would be nearly right in front of me. But standing on this um, doesn't open it. I wonder what would. I can drop something on there. Fish guy, I wish you would come out so I could fight you. I want to kind of explore right over there. I cannot fight him under the water. Here he comes. Come on. Come on, man. Can I, if I stand here, are you going to come over and say hi? They Sometimes they will come out. But maybe he's just meant to be a deterrence. So you can't, you know, explore too comfortably. Anyway, I'm going to drop a torch on that. Oh, there's more than one. Nice. All right, well, if you guys want to come out, I mean, we can, we can fight. All right, so I have that depressed... by dropping a torch on it, but does that do anything for us? It doesn't seem to. What does this say? Hold your breath. Oh, okay. Maybe if I have no breath, it'll open. Yeah, that's a bad strategy. Oh god, now they're blocking me from getting out. Well, now I'm dead. Yeah, this is an interesting conundrum. I can't get past you guys. I'd love to. Okay. Hmm. Well, they're there clearly to run interference and make that difficult. Among other things. I'm just going to rest and get my health back. And then I'm going to save it. I'm going to try this again. Hold your breath. I'm going to hold my breath. See if just standing here for a certain amount of time will trigger this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I get it. I get it. You're attacking me. It didn't do anything. It's going to load the game. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. Hmm. I wonder if there's any more signage down there that I could read. 
I'm going to put that down. It says, hold your breath. All right, so let me just look for anything else that is uh, giving us information on what to do. I don't see anything. But the torch just clearly does not weigh that down. Okay. So anyway, do I have a potion that is good for holding your breath? Anti-venom, antidote, transmitter's potion, rage potion, shield potion, healing and energy. I don't have like a breathe underwater thing. So, right. Okay, well that's fine. Let's go over here to the cemetery. I have the shovel. Maybe I can dig some fun stuff up in here. Uh, let me also make sure that I have my light spell cast. Okay, what do we got? So, we solved this puzzle, I do believe. Or I thought we did. No. Hmm. What did I say about this? Puzzle and locked door. Move stone northeast, southwest. Okay. So, north. And then according to my map... Oh, wait a minute. I didn't... Pushing it towards the door is not north. Okay. Let's try it again. North. Okay. And then this is east. Uh-huh. And this is south. And that's west. Well, unfortunately, that didn't appear to do what I wanted. The orders came and the gates closed. The answers were sealed in the archives. Okay. Well, I went to the archives. And there was one door I couldn't get into. I did get the Xanthi letters, though. So maybe they are referring to Xanthi here. And if that's the case, Ganman, the Iron Will, a sage and engineer, may his towers never fall. Right. Indeed, may his towers never fall. I've been saying that for years. Okay. So, let's think about this. If the answer is indeed in the archives, as it says here. Did I get the answer? Is there a secret on this fence, by the way? Secret button? Anyone? Okay. So let's look at the answers, then. He began traveling toward the frozen tundras. The sun was setting. So... The sun sets in the west. Then he looked at the path leading to the burning hot desert he called home, which is in the north. Finally, the star of the north came to lead the way, and he continued walking along the path. Gosh. There's so many... There's so many things hidden in that message. Pummel faced a stonemason. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Born in the frozen tundras of the north, lived a long life, and died on next. Okay, wait a minute. So this is the north. The frozen stuff is in the north. So let's look at this again. He, was, he began traveling north, and the sun was setting. Okay. 
Then he looked at the path leading to the burning hot desert called home. All right, let's look at some more graves. Does this... And it doesn't have any directional information on it. Okay, but we now know... Um, that the answers are in the archives. Okay. And... The orders came and the gates closed. The answers were sealed in the archives. All right. So let me say this. Uh, let's leave this. The orders came and the gates closed. The answers were sealed in the archives. Okay, so um, from this, you know, north equals frozen tundra. Desert equals what? We don't know. We're trying to figure that out. I don't think that the pyramid just implies desert. I think there's more information that I need to know first. So let's look for some more grave sites. There's one. And let's pay attention and see if there's any clues on it. Terrell Fell Tree, brought here by ships from Northampton, a worthy servant to the master. Ships from Northampton. All right, I don't know if that gives me any clue about anything. It doesn't feel like it. Knowledge flourishes on the island. Decay and death have fed its growth. All right. Okay, and then... Now we're in a graveyard. I've dug this all up for reasons. Three unknown slaves were laid to rest here. Freedom at last. Okay. I don't even know. I'm just going to dig everything up. It takes time. So what? I've got nothing but time. I can fish forever. Whatever it takes. If I have to dig up every square inch of this place. All right. Okay. Well, it's not been going so well. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All right. So... I thought maybe I had found something. I know, though, that I've seen some of the other language from the archives, and maybe I do have to get the message on the other side. I was wondering if the other room in the archives was just like an optional secret that you could get and wasn't essential to the, to the story or the quest. But now that I think about it, Hmm. All right. Um, I've been walking around here. And yeah, I don't feel very confident that I know what to do in the graveyard. I can look at the notes again that I got from the archives and say, okay, he began traveling toward the frozen tundras. The sun was setting. Then he looked to the path leading to the burning hot desert he called home. Finally, a star of the north came to lead the way and he continued along that path. All right, so 
the sun was setting. Is this a time thing? Hmm. Okay. I really don't feel confident. Um... with what to do there. And, and not even in the slightest. Yeah, here's the stairs to the hub. Now I can go back to the hub and see if there's some other passage for me to go to. I know I saw some signs about Boy, it'd be nice if I could just walk right across. I can't. It didn't work. Alright. Okay. Um. Mm hmm. We're getting into mind and matter, a territory where I'm really thinking about uh, consulting some kind of wiki for a clue about how to move forward. Not the entire walkthrough of the game, but just how to do the next step regarding the cemetery to make sure I'm on the right track uh, before I, you know, waste countless hours. The thing that's tricky here, well, one of the many things that's tricky is that uh, getting around, even with something like the hub, is not as easy as it could be. Alright, let me go. I'm going to check this out, actually, since I'm here. Can I get there from here? Yeah, I sure can. All right, great. There's a hammer. It's a war hammer. It's for doing war. All right. And in here, so we have the essence of fire, and we have the essence of earth, and we have two power orbs. I believe you need four, you know, to get another essence. Hi. He closed it. He he didn't let us in. Okay. I didn't expect anything else, but All right, let's check out the hub. Okay. Well, that's a no. Oh, wait. Maybe this will help me. What's this say? Hamlet of Stormbreach. Shipwreck Beach. Yep, yep, yep. Keel Breach Bog. Okay. Cemetery. So we haven't found the connection to the, some, the cemetery or the Hamlet of Stormbreach. Alright, well. Do I want to go, for example, to Keel Breach Bog? Where does this put me out on the map? Down here. Well, what about down there? Did I ever go to that part of the map? Let's see what that is. Let me save it. Maybe I haven't gone over here. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Oh, uh, maybe there's no easy way to do that then. Alright, well, would have been nice. Okay. Do 
cavern where I need to know Lightning Bolt. Well, maybe I know Lightning Bolt enough at this point. So that's where I got the Earth Altar. In Keelbreach Bog. The serpents can be awakened. I know, I want to try to wake them up. Hmm. I don't know why I didn't mark this, but, uh... That's the hub teleported down there. Alright. Well, let me look at my spells. Uh, I have shock, which is pretty decent, but I don't have anything like lightning bolt with you. Nor do I have it over here. Um, I mean, I could try to just make it up. You know. I'm just making things up. Oh, we learned a new spell. Force field. Okay. Well, there you go. That's nice. I think he already knew that spell. Hmm. It's hard to just make stuff up. Alright, well, I don't think that just memorizing a spell randomly is going to do it. Okay, everyone, I did have to do this. I had to bite the bullet and uh, look online for how to get through this puzzle right here because I just couldn't figure it out. And I don't want to just wander the world looking for things. Uh, I went to the archives, I got the message, I was on track, which is what I was hoping to find, but this puzzle is uh, n seems to be very tricky. A lot of people were asking questions about this, and the problem comes in the fact that they give you the clue that um, the, the tundra is in the north, right? So you have this, and then... The sun was setting, which is west, so I got that bit. But then the path leading to the burning hot desert he called home. So that is tricky, right? Uh, and the reason that's tricky um, is that there's no indication from the game, at least that people were saying that the desert is in the south. You're just supposed to assume that the desert is in the north, or I mean, I'm sorry, the south, uh, and figure that out, which... I don't get it and then you go back to the north and this is tricky because he continued walking along the path and you have to figure out what direction he's walking going along the path uh, and that is north and so to do this puzzle you have to kind of like reset this thing after each direction by pushing it back onto the blue now, the other tricky thing is north is not the way that you're facing if you're looking at the gate. So you need to be um, facing, you know, north to start this. So let's see if we can do this. So we're going to go north because he traveled north to the frozen area. Then we're going to go back. And then it says he went west toward the setting sun. So we're going to go over there. Then you got to put it back. And then um, he's going to go south because he goes to the, the hot area. So we'll go south. And then he goes back up 
to the north. And then you have to push this back here. And then go to the north again. Oh my god, we did it. Okay. So, th this was the solution. And I got it right that you had to orient yourself with moving north here. I found the grave that said the tundra was in the north. But I couldn't ever find the information that... Um, you know, the desert was in the south. I guess you could infer that it's the opposite direction from wherever it's cold. You know, maybe. Um, and, and if you're thinking about our planet... But that's another complaint that people had, was that, okay, they're talking about the Earth, which is like the sun sets in the west on the Earth. And then on the Earth, there's poles with, you know, uh, things getting colder as you... Uh, mo move toward either one of the poles and, and warmer towards the equator. And this is all very um, terrestrial information and orientation. And I don't know if we can assume that in this game that we're on the Earth. So the, the puzzle kind of is asking for knowledge from a player about their own planet, but given rules that don't necessarily apply to wherever we are in this game. Anyway, we're through. Hallelujah. We found a new region. And this is uh, a fantastic place to uh, end this episode. We searched everywhere. We tried to do this puzzle, and we couldn't do it, but we then got a little bit of assistance. We were on the right track, which is all I ever hoped to do, is at least try to think like the game and solve their puzzle. And, you know... Reluctantly, I used a guide, and now we have a new place to go and explore. So, everyone, um, I'm excited to finally move on and see what we can do about getting some more power orbs. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Take care.